Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another studio vlog. It's November. You're in a different place in my room. I've got my diffusery, what's it called? You know, the thing that puffs out the mist uh, over there. And it's a bit noisy, so I thought I'd pop you over here. Um, I've just taken a whole week off, the end of October, and today it's my first day back and I feel a little bit uh, overwhelmed, anxious because I have taken quite a few weeks off this year but not truly actually taken them off because I've still had Patreon things that I've come up and done or done from the sofa. I've still packed orders and I've still been replying to emails. I haven't like put an out of office on or anything like that. This week that I just took off, I actually took it off. I prepared all of my Patreon content in advance and scheduled it. I've barely been on Instagram. I think I posted like once. Yeah, I haven't packed any orders. So I literally took the whole week off and I have hardly thought about Lula Rocks. And it is the only week this year, the only time off, like proper time off I've taken where I haven't actually done a bit of work here and there. So... It was nice and it was really, really needed. Um, but I feel like I've completely lost where I was, where I was going with Lula Rocks. And yeah, so today is gonna to be a lot of planning and trying to work out what I need to do because November's gonna be a busy month in theory. Uh, I've got new pins that are due to come in this month. I've got Patreon boxes that I need to get on get everything designed, get everything sent off and made, make everything that needs to be made here, send them out so that people actually have them in time before Christmas. Um, so that is a really high priority. And then also November tends to be quite busy because people are Christmas shopping, but with coronavirus and the UK uh, about to head into a second lockdown, I don't know how that's gonna affect sales. So it's, an uncertain time for everyone. It's just, it's hard, it's hard. So, I wanna show you my new lamp that Paul got me. It's the mood! Oh, how cool is this? It's actually a proper replica of the moon. Oh, look, it's going all funny on the screen. I wonder whether that shows up on video. Oh my God, I don't know if you can see that, but on my camera, it's going like Yeah, so this is my new little moon lamp and I love it because if you don't know, I am a big lover of the moon. You are, oh, I've just tapped it and changed it and now it's going all funny again. Yeah, I literally love the moon. The moon is like one of my favorite things ever um i could stare at it all day all night when i can see it <laughs> uh yeah and so because i have a lot of anxiety paul bought it for me because he thought it might be calming so this is my new lamp that is going to live in this room i kind of want to spin it you know on my finger but i can't so i won't anyway random little piece of information there for you that you probably don't care about but you know you're watching my vlogs so this is the quality content that you are getting so now that i've just chatted to you forever about my new moon lamp things like that i am going to start planning what needs to be done so that i don't feel so anxious and overwhelmed and there's a spider on my desk how dare you it's only a small one he can stay let's call him albert yeah there we go let's Let's start planning. planning and um, set up the file for one of the items which I will tell you about in a second um, I've just done a test print of two different background colors because I'm not sure I wasn't sure I wasn't sure which one I liked more but now that I've printed them just on on normal paper I've got a good idea so I will tell you the first item um, 
patrons if you don't want to know then don't listen <laughs> i am doing a festive box which my patrons know and i'm sharing more information this time than i normally do just because i want to make sure it's as inclusive as possible for my patrons not all of them celebrate christmas per se so i'm not doing anything like too christmasy we're going with like a soft woodland theme so first item is wrapping paper so they're gonna get um which I have already told them, but some of them, I don't think open the emails because they don't want to know. So they're going to be getting like a nice big A2 sheet of wrapping paper with like matching tags so that they can send them to people. So I'll show you the little printouts I've done. So I've had to make it quite dark so you can see um, the difference. But this one I've done on like a, a really light pink paper as the background. And this one I've just done on white. So I wasn't sure which one I'd like. This is it on the white and this is it on the pink. Oh, I actually like the white. I think that'd look really nice as a wrapping paper. I've never made wrapping paper before. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and order that. What do you think? Let me know. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and order the white. And then I've also, we're going ahead with one of the other items, which is a tree decoration or hanging decoration, but it's not going to be too festive. You could have it in any room, on any wall, on any tree, any time of the year. Um, but I'm not going to show you it because I can't show you too much because it's a secret, you know? It's for my patrons. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm super, super excited. It's going to be made out of wood. And yeah, so I've uh, contacted the company that I got the quote from and have asked them to go ahead. So that's another thing I can tick off my list. And then, I need to sort out some backing cards for my new pins that will be coming. And also I'm gonna be doing some pin sets with my uh, existing pins. So I am going to get some backing cards specially made for these pin sets and then offer multiple pins maybe at a slight discount on one backing card um, and they're a bit more giftable so it's still the same pins it's just makes it a bit nicer of a, a gifty item for Christmas um, I mean Christmas is just gonna be weird this year I've got no festive products going into my shop <laughs> it always got a bit peak tongue if you're not sure what that means it means wrong <laughs> and yeah it's it's just so strange. I didn't put any Halloween items in my shop and now I don't have any Christmas items either. What am I doing to myself? What am I doing to myself? It's just been, it's just been so difficult and the pressure was so much trying to come up with items in... Sorry, it's like rubbish trucks going down the road. Um, I was just putting myself under too much pressure uh, and I left it too late because my head's not really been in the right place this year. And basically the week before I took my holiday, I sat down and said to myself and said to Paul, I'm not doing Christmas items except for my festive box. I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. It's too much pressure, I'm stressing myself out. And um, yeah, so like I said, instead I'm just gonna make some items a bit more giftable. Um, and to be honest, at this stage, if you're outside of the UK, there's no guarantee that you're gonna get any items before Christmas anyway now because of everything that's going on. So it's made it really difficult, really, really difficult. Um, most of my customers are actually not in the UK, even though I am. A lot of my customers are actually in the US. So yeah, if that's one of you guys, obviously you're welcome to order, but I just can't guarantee that anything's gonna arrive in time for Christmas even with track shipping, even if you pay to upgrade to track shipping, it doesn't come any quicker. All it means is that you can keep an eye on where your order is while it's on the way. Yeah, so I'm gonna get on and design these backing cards so that I can place the order because I'm getting the wrapping paper in the same place. Everything else I'm making here. So they're the most important things to get cracking on is the things that, that need to be made by other people. Oh, oh, and I've decided to finally switch to postcards to go in my orders rather than leaflets i've had uh did i start out with postcards no 
business cards. I used to have business cards when I first started and then I switched to leaflets because they were actually cheaper. My printer always pipes up, doesn't it? It gets lonely, it wants attention. Yeah, I switched to leaflets because they were a bit cheaper um, and you could fit more information on. Um, and what I used to do, because I had the little mini boxes, was they kind of fitted in. I went for the DL, like the long ones. They fitted in and then I folded them over so it almost like enwrapped. <laughs> yeah, it was like wrapped around the items. But I've switched box sizes and it doesn't really fit. So I have made the decision to go with postcards. They are more expensive, but it is what it is. And I want my packaging to look as nice as possible. I used to put lots and lots of effort into it. It's just finding a balance between it looking nice and it costing a lot of money because at the end of the day, a lot of it is going to be thrown away and also being eco-friendly not just using eco-friendly products but not putting stuff in that doesn't need to be in you know if something doesn't need a bag or wrapping paper or tissue paper not using it because just because it's not plastic doesn't mean that using it makes you eco-friendly you know I try and keep my packaging as minimal as possible so it's, it's a bit of a tricky one to find the balance. I feel like I say that all the time. Oh, it's a bit of a tricky one. But it is. Everything's tricky. Everything. <laughs> so, yeah. That's where I'm at. Need to design these postcards as well. So, yeah. I'm going to crack on and uh, check in with you in a little while. lovely patrons and welcome back to another podcast. I'm back. I have had a whole week off and do you know what? It's the first time I've actually properly switched off. Current situation. Can't reach my keyboard. I don't normally let him in here. Paul left the door open and he snuck in and jumped on my lap because Paul's trying to fix my printer which is no longer there because it won't connect to my computer which is just great when I've got a load of foiling to do. Um, I'm going to bring so I don't wake the cat up, he's like a baby. Uh, yeah, so Maui came in while Paul was looking at the printer, jumped straight on my lap and now I'm stuck. Does anyone else do this with your pet? Once your pet's on your lap, like you don't want to disturb them, don't want to get off. I'll be trapped here now for days. So I've done my podcast, emails. I can't finish the Inktober scans that I started yesterday. That's what I was doing, wanted to, wanted to carry on doing when the printer wouldn't work. But I've done emails, I've done YouTube comments. So what I'd say with all of that, so I've just got orders to do now, today, but I'm trapped. So, Mouse, you're gonna get up. What are you doing? No, don't, don't get more comfy. Maui, we've got to go do orders, come on. Oh, come on, baby. What are you doing?
morning. Should I say good afternoon? Almost, it's 11.59. <laughs> um, I haven't had a lot of sleep. So I'm struggling, struggling a bit this morning, but I just got a delivery, which I'm gonna show you. Um, I've also been trying to scan in the other Inktober pieces now that um, Paul sorted out the printing and scanning issues. Um, the ones that I'm having trouble with, I'm still having trouble with the same ones. They're, they've got some real kind of light washes and pastely type areas and um, everything's going off. Um, it's just not picking it up right and I can't, I've tried editing it and I just can't do it. So I might have to take photos of them with either this camera or my DSLR and see if I can work that into a digital file. Um, if that doesn't work, then I might not be able to go ahead because that it literally leaves me with two that did work. Um, so that'll be a bit of a shame, but it's what it is. So anyway, the uh, items that I designed on Monday, maybe, and ordered, I will show you now, because they just arrived. Okay, so first up is this postcard. This is to replace my leaflets. Uh, the leaflets are just a pain in the ass with the new box size, so I got some postcards that hopefully should fit perfectly. So on the front is uh, like a, a little illustration, and then on the back I've just got information, um, a little thank you, and you know, like my website and stuff uh, down the bottom. So those are my new postcards. And then for the uh, enamel pin collections and sets, I just got these made. So these are A7 business cards or A7 postcards. So it's just, it's pretty much the same as my normal backing cards, but just bigger. And I'll show you what some of the pins look like. This is bent because I didn't do a very good job of putting them in and I still need to perfect where they will go. This is two of the key pins that will be going on one of them. And then I've got some other flying keys in a different colorway that will also go on them. And this isn't the actual butter beer pin that will go on there because these are the ones that were printed with the, or printed, made with the wrong colors. But um, I've got some new ones on the way to me. So once they're here, you'll be able to get four gold pins together. And then all the patients. So I just, I stuck with the same business card or backing card for all of the pin collections so that I didn't have too many different ones because I used to have a different backing card for each pin every time I used to design it and it just it took so much time to design in the first place and then keeping on top of which ones I was out of and god there were so many different backing cards so yeah I've just I've really um scaled it down and now I have I think five main colors for pins and then this has arrived. So patrons, if you don't wanna see, look away now, cause this is one of the items that will be going in your goodie box this month. Oh my God, I'm super nervous. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, what do you think? I, ideally, I want these flattened, so I'm gonna have to find something heavy to put on them, um, cause I need to fold them small enough to fit inside an A5 box. The original one, which was printed on really thin recycled paper and has now been screwed up, is here. So it's a lot lighter, so the print quality on this is a lot better. And it's really nice paper. It's uncoated, which means that obviously it can be recycled. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, I'm so excited. I'll show you another thing that's gonna be going in there. So again, patrons don't look. I need to redo these probably today. So these are also going in the box. Da, 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 da. But yeah, I need to redo these because I actually re-illustrated them um, with a smoother, 
brush because they were a little bit pixelated. So yeah, I am super, super excited for this month's box. It's gonna look so cute. So yeah, I am going to try and sort all of this stuff out that's just been uh, delivered. And then I need to really crack on and redo these and make some other goodies. So let's go. progress update for you. I've printed almost all of my sticker sheets. Almost. Where are they? Not here. I've got almost all of them but I'm having trouble with my Cricut. Oh, I tell you, running your own little creative business can just be such a pain in the bum because there's always something that doesn't want to work right. And Basically the cut lines are going really close to the, the illustrations and I recalibrated my machine which you have to do every so often anyway because otherwise the cut lines are off um, and it was absolutely perfect. It didn't need recalibrating so I thought oh maybe now that I've done that it will like reset it anyway so I carried on cutting and it just gets worse and worse and I'm like oh, the last time I had this issue I had to contact Cricut support and um, so I think I'm gonna have to do that I can't actually remember what I had to do I'll check my emails in case I spoke to them by email but yeah so I've got most of them done they look really cute the other item I'm not gonna say out loud in case my patrons are watching and don't want to see it so look away now I folded to an A5 size think the best way to flatten it because they're eight it's a2 so i don't really have anything big enough and heavy enough to flatten them down that like that so i'm thinking if i fold them all to this size ready for packing then i can stack them up and and weight them down i know it's all very cryptic isn't it anyway my patrons you can look back now um we've just been out for a late lunchtime walk with the dog because Lockdown is happening tomorrow in the UK. Uh, I've pretty much been on voluntary lockdown for, I don't know, a million months? Eight months? Seven months? Eight months <laughs> since March. Um, which wasn't too bad for me personally for spring and summer. I mean, I, I'm a bit of a hermit anyway. I don't really go anywhere. And we had our grass done last winter we had artificial grass put down so it meant that we could go out in the spring and summer we spent quite a lot of time in the garden so that's all been fine but now that it's getting darker and miserable outside i am a bit like concerned about spending so much time in the house with my anxiety so we've decided to start taking nana out at lunchtime that's right, I called him Nana, like Banana. His name's Barney, in case you don't know. Um, yeah, so we took Nana out today at lunchtime. I thought by going out at lunchtime, I can get a bit of sun and maybe that will help with my anxiety and general mood because I'm not great at wintertime anyway. So I thought that might help. So I think I'm going to carry on trying to sort out these items and deal with the rest of the stick sheets tomorrow and also the inktober stuff maybe tomorrow the exciting news which i may have already told you who knows my pins are due in on friday so i normally stop filming on a thursday and edit on a friday but because my pins are due in on friday i'm gonna probably extend this vlog to friday so i can show you my new pins that will be coming this month so yeah anyway i'm gonna crack off ciao for now my goodness it's chilly in here my computer's probably going to make a noise soon because I just turned it on. That's not the right password. No! It's Friday. Yesterday, Thursday, I ended up feeling quite anxious uh, in, the, in the morning. Uh, so I decided to take 
the whole day off and I just sat on the sofa and read a book. Now, I am a bit of a bookworm. I'm a bit of a bookworm and I actually don't allow myself to read very often because anymore. <laughs> oh. Why does this always happen? Why do I stupidly turn my PC on and then start talking to you? There's probably going to be more. Uh, yes, I, I get really hooked on books. So if I let myself read, then nothing else gets done because I just want to read my book all the time. So I actually probably only read a book like once a year. I allow myself the time to do it. So I'm currently reading Midnight Sun, which if you don't know is the Twilight books or the first Twilight book um, from Edward's perspective. I'm enjoying it. I am enjoying it. Enough that I've read it all day yesterday, but all of my fears have been confirmed. My childhood crush, not childhood, my young adult crush, Edward Cullen, is actually a stalker. He is. He's a stalker. He's obsessed. That's all I'm gonna say about that in case you haven't read it, but yeah, I feel a little bit heartbroken that he's actually a stalker <laughs> and should never have been my crush. So yeah, sad times. Anyway, on to today, Friday. Unfortunately, my pins are still in China. So delivery is not gonna happen today unless there is some kind of miracle, which I highly doubt it. So I won't be able to show you my pins. On Wednesday, I can't remember how much I filmed, but I did do all of one item. I folded another item and I've set them to flatten out. I did most of another item, all for me mailboxes, which is why I'm being cryptic. Um, <laughs> don't, wanna, don't wanna ruin the surprise for anyone too much. Yeah, so I got I got a good chunk of, of the me mail goodie box work done. Today, I need to set up a new Patreon art challenge. Every month we do uh, an art challenge and it's a different thing each month. I kind of change it up a bit and I need to pack the rest of the orders for this week because I only did a small amount on Tuesday, I think it was. So that needs to happen. One thing I will just say, in case you're not aware, and I feel like it's quite relevant at the moment. I have another video that I filmed at the beginning of last lockdown in the UK. So I think it was like March or April time. And it is like a walkthrough on how to use click and drop. So if you guys are running a business from the UK and you aren't comfortable going to the post office at the moment because you don't want to be around people, um, then check that out because it is super, super easy to use and I'm not tooting my own horn, but I get so many comments on it saying, oh my God, this has been really helpful. This is so useful. Thank you so much. Oh my God, I can't believe I've never done this before. So seriously, go and check it out because I walk through kind of how easy it is to set up an account, not like every specific detail, but I just kind of show you how to do it um, and there's all guides on there and I show you how to process your parcels. You can connect it with your store and I just, yeah, I really want to share it because I know a lot of, I've, I've seen a lot of people on Instagram like, oh, now that we're going into lockdown, I don't really want to go in the post office. So I'm going to shut my shop for the, for the month. And I'm like, you don't need to go to the post office. You can use click and drop. Shh. You can use click and drop and you can just put it in the post box. You don't even have to go to the post office. You pay for it all online. It can connect to most stores. Like, seriously, what are you doing? <laughs> so yeah, if you're unsure or you've been thinking about doing it, go and check out that video. I will leave a link below. Maybe I can do one of those little card things that comes up. But if not, I'll leave, I'll leave a link below for you. Um, go and check it out because it will save you so much time. It will save your life. That's about it. So let's go pack some orders.
Okay, orders have been packed. Check. Mark that off my to-do list. Well, I am gutted about my pins. I won't, won't lie to you. I was really hoping they'd be here early today so I could take photos, get them ready, um, get the listings ready because next week I've got the matching washi tapes coming and then all I would have to do is quickly take some photos and then I could finally set a date to launch them. But until they're here, I just can't do any of that. So I just might have to wait until they're all here together. It's a little bit frustrating. I really wanted them here as early as possible because, well, you know, Christmas is coming up and COVID is causing issues with shipping and not much I can do. So I think I might leave the vlog here so that I can edit it today and then I'll carry on working on the Moon Mail goodie boxes next week. Yeah, so I think that's what I'll do. So as always, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I really hope you did enjoy it and I will see you again soon for another vlog. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, it would be amazing if you could. And if you could give this little uh, video a thumbs up, that would mean the world to me. I will see you again soon. Bye.